So in this video I'm going to be showing my entry to the Three Blind Mice Back to the Bone Challenge. For this challenge it was just simply to take a Hot Wheels Bone Shaker and just build it into something for the 31st of May, which is the day this video should be coming out. Uh, initially I did want to use an off-road Bone Shaker casting, but I couldn't find one so I just ended up using this one. So I did kind of want to do a Gaslands car, but I wasn't too sure what to do at first, and then I thought actually it'd be very good car to use for me wacky racers cars because i'm currently in the process of trying to build the entire team of wacky racers cars in like a gasland style so that's what i did with this one so for this one i chose the creepy coop which is driven by the gruesome twosome um in this in the wacky racers um here's a quick picture of what it looked like in the cartoon i did some artwork by mark sexton in a fury road version of it so here's the car broken down into three main parts just so you can see what I have to work with and here's the finished build with all the building done um, as you can see I did a quite extensive modification to this thing swapped out the wheels cut off the complete front end and cut out the roof. Um, I'll go through like I usually do how I did this and that. So start with the front, work my way at the back. So using some starion I scratch built a brand new radiator and bumper. I also added some crouchly human skulls kind of inspired by the Mark 6 and artwork. I also used some Zane Industry spikes as headlights. I then took an engine from my bits box. This engine actually came from a monster truck, which I've already built, but I haven't released the video yet, so you'll be looking forward to see that video in the future. Uh, the scoop was from not the scoop was from the North Star Miniatures Gasland Sprue, um, as well as the driver. The driver is also from the same North Star Miniatures Gasland Sprue. The core driver is actually a zombie. Um, which I got from this figure set of the Dark Alliance, uh, which I took from a figure set which is the Dark Alliance 172 skill zombie set. The flame throw is inspired because in the cartoon there's actually a dragon in the back of the creepy coop, um, which she used to help fly the car or make the car go faster and just many other comedy things. Um, I didn't really want to sculpt the dragon because my sculpting skills aren't that bad, that good, so in the end I just kind of went with a flame throw for the weapon for this vehicle. For this I used the Capsul Designs Flare Throw set in which you can build your own little flare throws. So I used the front section and the rear section. Um, the gun body is from the Ramshackle Games 20mm car conversion kit. Um, since the driver is a vampire I decided to scratch build a coffin for the back. Uh, just because obviously you need somewhere to sleep and he's a vampire. The wheels are also from a parts box but unfortunately I, I don't know what they're from. Um, I've had them in the bits box for ages. I think they're from the car transporter truck that I used to build the scavenger but I couldn't be 100% there were just some random wheels um, they used some, a simple styrene axle for, a styrene tube for the axle just to jack up the rear end a bit and here we are with the thing painted now so as you can see I try to keep the original colour scheme of the uh, car overall I'm quite happy with the way this turned out and glad to have another Gaslands Wacky Race car to my collection I am planning to build the entire team um, uh, so far I think I've got four cars done out of the 11 that there is and as soon as I've completed all 11 cars I do plan to make a stop motion animation. So as usual there'll be a nice little slideshow of glamour shots, um, stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.